Population growth and rapid urbanization are driving the increase in disaster risks. The world is becoming increasingly urban. The United Nations estimates that more than two thirds of the world's population will live in cities by 2050. And as this process continues, the urbanized land area is expected to triple. Cities concentrate economic activity and generate prosperity, but they also concentrate risks. Almost 75% of post-disaster losses are attributable to extreme weather events. Climate change threatens to push an additional 100 million people into extreme poverty by 2030. And we estimate that within the same time frame, without significant investment into making cities more resilient, natural disasters may cost cities worldwide $314 billion each year. The time to act is now. Cities are adaptive systems and can promote resilient growth in an inclusive manner if institutions and policies are well coordinated and if financing is available. Mainstreaming resilience into urban development planning can reverse the current trend of rising disaster impacts. If cities act decisively, they can save lives and assets. However, many local governments lack the tools, expertise, financing, and instruments to factor the potential impacts of disasters into their investment decisions. GFDRR is leading the way to enhance urban resilience by supporting cities to strengthen their ability to better manage ongoing stresses, to prepare for, withstand, and recover from acute shocks. GFDR is a major supporter of urban resilience globally through the provision and funding of technical assistance, research and analytics, knowledge management, and partnership building. Since 2010, GFDR has funded almost $200 million in grant resources, which is almost a quarter of our total portfolio, leveraging over $12.7 billion in lending. We have also supported over 100 cities in 88 countries to build their social, economic, physical, and environmental resilience to natural hazards and climate change. Demand for innovative approaches to urban resilience has been increasing over time especially during COVID-19, when cities have been dealing with compounding risks in the face of uncertainty. It is for this reason that GFDRR supports a range of programs and activities to help cities enhance their resilience to shocks. For example, the City Resilience Program, launched in 2017, is a multi-donor initiative aimed at increasing financing for urban resilience. By the end of fiscal year 2020, CRP provided support to over 100 cities globally. The CRP has developed a suite of operational services to complement GFDRR urban resilience grant resources. This fiscal year, for example, the CRP is introducing an urban flood risk assessment framework agreement with four leading global firms. CRP support thus enables World Bank teams to continually raise the quality of services that are provided to cities through GFDRR grant support. An example of CRP's work can be found in Moldova where the CRP team has been working with the Transport Global Practice to find practical solutions for the dual use of parking infrastructure to both reduce flooding risk and mobilize parking revenue. In addition to CRP, we support a range of activities related to urban resilience. Open Cities Africa works across 11 cities to engage local government, civil society, and the private sector to develop the information infrastructure necessary to meet 21st century urban resilience challenges. Over the next five years, we aim to scale up GFTR's impact by building on these experiences to continue developing innovative tools and approaches to help cities enhance their resilience to disaster and climate change, and by leveraging additional lending to provide results on the ground. Thank you so much for your attention.